Hey you guys, it's Karen and I've got a skincare and makeup haul for you. I've got some really good finds here so I wanted to come and tell you about them. Some are repurchases um, and some you knew I was going to buy. Let me start with the kind of odd one out and it's this. This is the Tan Lux Wonder Oil, self tanning oil. And I have used Tan Lux, Tan Lux products before um, and had a real success with them. And this one was super interesting because it's got a rollerball. It has got a bit of a scent, so there must be some perfume in there. The, it, it must be low on the list because it's unlikely I would have bought it if it wasn't. Um, and I, there's no alcohol in it, but it is so easy to use and it's a really beautiful colour. So I used this two days ago, Sunday, today's Tuesday, yeah, two days ago I used this. Um, and like I said, it's just so easy to use because you just roll it over your face, massage it in, and then that's you done. And it's so easy and really really moisturizing really enjoying that so love that and i wanted to tell you about it and it's a nice big bottle there as well you know there's quite a lot because do you remember i can't remember the exact price of it it's not inexpensive but it's probably about the same price as the saint tropez facial oil but you used to get probably half as much as that how much is this 100 mil so i think you probably got 50 mil in the saint tropez one okay a couple of repurchases this is the hyalamide c25 that I mentioned in my hyalamide favorites and i think i told you that i was going to repurchase it i just love this i absolutely love it um i love the feel of it i love that it's an ethylated vitamin c so you don't need to worry about irritation you don't need to worry about where to put it in your routine etc um i love everything about this so i'm glad i've got another one of those and i got that while the whole um discount well, it's probably still going on it's going on until sunday i think isn't it till the 30th no, Sunday's the first till Saturday. Do you know what? I better put in an order if I want to get anything else. Um, the other thing I bought was this Hylamide Sub Q Skin. So if I turn it around that way, I used up to there already. You guys know I use too much. You guys are always telling me I use too much. I know I use too much. I enjoy using too much. It's fine. <laughs> um, but this is something that I have already done a video on. A lot of you are saying, can I review this? And I have done a video on it. I didn't find anything amazing from it before, but... I was happy to try it again because I do like the ingredients. I do like how it feels on my skin. I just didn't see anything amazing, but you know, I know that I don't always use things for long enough because I'm, I'm trying lots and lots of different things. So um, I'm using this. I'll see what I think when I get to the to the end and I'll let you know. Another thing that you knew I was gonna buy is this, the Hada Labo, Hada Labo Anti-Aging Super Hydrator. So I've got the one in the white bottle, which is hyaluronic acid. This is the one that has retinol in it. I thought I would never touch another retinol product, but I thought, why not? Because I really enjoyed all the other Hada Labo products that I used. I find that difficult to say for some reason. Um, I've only used this twice. I used it four days apart um, and I had no irritation. So I'm going to be very, very cautious using this to see if I do get any irritation, but normally I would get it immediately any retinol I used would immediately give me irritation. So that's a real winner. So I'm gonna continue using that. I'm not sh exactly sure what my routine is going to be at the moment because I've bought a few things, I need to figure a few things out, um, but I like that. A lot of you when I did that haul were telling me that you prefer the actual original products, but there's two issues for me there. Number one, um, I can't read the in ingredients. The other issue is that to my knowledge, this this is cruelty free as listed on um i linked it on facebook there was a, a lady had done her research and she was i believe she was japanese actually and she had said that the ones that are sold here are cruelty free but the original line is not cruelty free so that's not something i'd be interested in trying unfortunately my final skincare item is this this is by purito so do you remember i did get another item from purito which was the sea buckthorn lotion and it was supposed to have 70 percent sea buckthorn in it i don't think it did because it was a clear gel and sea buckthorn even if you put one tiny drop into a lotion as i've tried completely stains it um and it had a lot of perfume and it smelled very strongly of orange however the ingredients on this are really good and this is the comfy water sunblock spf 50. this is non-nano cruelty free and vegan um it's a physical sunscreen and it feels really really lightweight so i have used this probably about three times let me show you what it's like um that's what it looks like and there's no white cast it's not 
there's no gray cast you know how i said with the ordinary skincare one i get a slight, slight kind of gray look there's no scent it doesn't feel heavy at all but it still hydrates my skin doesn't feel tight i don't need to use something underneath it this is really really good the only problem with it is it took a long time to get to me i ordered it from yes style and i think it took about three weeks so it's not something <laughs> you know you'd need to stock up on it or order it when you were halfway through or something like that um but really really good i'm really impressed with that so it's a comfy water sunblock spf 50. okay on to makeup i bought some makeup things again things that i told you i was going to these two are the Kiko double-ended eyeshadows that I mentioned. So do you remember I had one, I really liked it, but I wanted to buy some other colours. So the first one I bought was this in O2. They've not got names. This one is O2, like I said, and I've tried both ends of this. Um, that's one end. So real sort of natural colour. I actually really liked that. And then the other end is, is this sort of bright red, well, ready orange, I suppose, ready copper colour, isn't it? And that that side was horrible that was really really hard to apply and it creased within an hour or so whereas the matte side was absolutely fine and that's really nice for a natural shadow i don't know whether i liked it enough to to keep this i don't know whether i was that impressed when i say whether to keep it or not it's very quick to just throw something out but i make decisions very quickly and i don't want to i've just cleared this room out um and got rid of chest of drawers, got rid of a lot of makeup because I wanted to have a sort of purge and I don't want to keep things if I'm not going to use them, you know? Um, and I think that, I don't think I'll reach for that colour enough and I know that I didn't like that one um, to keep it. I'm not sure, I'm going to use it another time to see um, and then I'll make a decision. The next one I really like, this is 04 and I like both of the sides on this. So this is the first colour. I think this is lovely really really lovely and this one was absolutely fine even though it's the same kind of um texture is that the word i mean finish really really lovely not quite as nice as the one that started all this which was the sleek foil cream the little mini foil cream um not quite as good as that but not far off it i really liked that when i used it and what i did was i put that all over my lid and then i actually used the cream eyeshadow kind of under my eyes and sort of smudged it out and then a little bit into the corner it was a little bit difficult to sort of you know to smudge into the corner but using it under my eye was absolutely fine so i really like this one i'm pleased i've got that so that one is 04. the next thing i bought was a milani stay put waterproof eyeliner i got a double pack of these from ebay um and it, it's another one that you guys had recommend you guys are always recommended to me black eyeliners because i have yet to find one that will 100 percent stay in my upper waterline that's not true i have got one, a one that's really good and that i'm using currently but that's there's only a tiny bit left is the wonder liner so i think i'm gonna have to repurchase that one but it's, it's quite expensive and i'm finding it quite hard to get onto my eyes at the minute the other one that does stay is the Kat Von D and that's the one that's sort of liquidy and but you have to hold your eye open to let it dry it's the only way it'll stay is if you literally lift your eye up and I don't want to do that I don't want to make my eyes more wrinkly than they are but not only that it um it irritates my eyes you know I find that I get sore eyes at the end of the day if I'm wearing that Kat Von D liner I had high hopes for this because it is so soft and creamy and such a lovely black line as you can see um but it doesn't stay on me it it looked terrible um it was one of those days where i put it on and was embarrassed you know i can't remember where i had gone whether it was the vet or what where it was but then when i looked in the mirror i was like oh my god it was like literally all here and then it was all down here. it was just awful just did not stay on me at all the final thing I bought is this. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. And I'm really enjoying this. I like the bottle that it comes in. Um, and I like this colour. I often struggle to find a colour in Urban Decay foundations because they do oxidise. So that's the colour there. And this is 40NN. But the really weird thing to me is that I, when I bought this, I put four swatches i think maybe even five but definitely four and it was 10 nn which is neutral which i like 20 nn 30 nn and 40 nn 10 looked too light 
and 20 and 30 NN were actually darker than 40 NN. But then when you went to 50, it was completely dark. So it, it, they don't seem to flow. And I found that, I remember when I bought the All Nighter foundation, I found the exact same thing. The colors just don't flow right. So I would say if you're going to buy this, don't buy it online. Um, maybe watch videos, maybe if people have reviewed this, that might be more helpful. But also if you go and swatch it, let it dry. So put, put them on your hand, leave the store and come back later. It's actually quite difficult to do just now because my hands were freezing because it's really cold. Um, but they really oxidized so badly that the color was nothing like it was when I swatched it. Um, because there were a couple that I swatched and I was like, like even this one I swatched and I was like, that's too light. But as soon as it dries, it's a completely different color. Um, I haven't got it on today, I'm afraid. I've got on the Laura Mercier one because it's the only one that matches my tan or one of the few foundations I've got that matches my tan and this one I wore one day when I just did my tan on, in my holiday and I could see it was a completely different colour so if I love it as much as I think I do I will probably buy a darker colour but I'm just not sure which one probably I'll need to go up like and get either 20 or 30 nn and like I said this is 40 nn so really bizarre so I would recommend going into a shop, getting swatches, letting them dry and take it from there. I know I haven't told you much about the foundation, have I? But um, I need to wear it a bit more, I think, to give you the full kind of it lasts, etc. because I have worn it quite a few times and, and I haven't noticed anything awful about it. And I've every time I've applied it, I've been like, oh yeah, that looks nice. Haven't seen what it looks like on camera. I haven't ticked up on it specifically at the end of a day. Um, do you know what I mean? I've not, I need to, use it a bit more I think but so far I really enjoy it because it does feel lightweight um it doesn't look like it's sinking into my lines as much as other foundations and it's got a really pretty finish so so far so good that's everything for today I must be due you a new at the drugstore but I haven't been to the drugstore I haven't been to Boots and Superdrug other than kind of popping in to buy specific things um I haven't had a browse and you know when I do a new at the drugstore I stop and take pictures of all the new things even if I don't buy them and tell you why I'm not buying them um I, it can be difficult near Christmas actually because a lot of it there's not new things coming out it's just Christmas sets um, but I will try and do that I must tell you about my other channels people do tell me off um, for not they'll say you know I didn't know you had another channel but I tend to just leave it in the description I'm not one for doing please subscribe to me and I, I, sh I perhaps I should but I just feel like I don't want to watch loads of videos where they're constantly saying if you like this video please subscribe blah 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 I think it can get too repetitive um, and I feel the same about the other channels I don't want to be shoving them down people's throats but I have two other channels one of them is about health um, and as you know I've been changing the name of my channels and social media etc so it used to be Mrs Ginger's Health it is now Life as a Zebra and Zebra is a name that's used to describe people with Elis Danlos and actually I think kind of any sort of invisible illness if you like um, so Life as a Zebra is my other channel and on there I'm talking about my recent knee MRI um, what what food I'm eating I do a few kind of cooking and baking videos my weight loss journey um you know anything to do with health bill or life oh, I do law of attraction videos on there as well and then of course I've got my doggy channel which was Mrs Ginger and her dog but that is now positively enriched um because a lot of my videos are about enrichment for dogs whether or not that's you know games or um helping them with issues so I've got those two channels um Okay, only thing left to tell you about is makeup. I have got on the Laura Mercier foundation, the Silk Cream Foundation in June. Um, Dune, Dune, it's not June. June is the month, isn't it? Dune, D-U-N-E. <laughs> um, on my eyes, I have got, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, but then just on my lid there is the Bare Minerals pigment in blush. Um, on my cheeks is, what do they call that? Physician's Formula. Is it Physician's Formula? Yeah, in rosy pink, blush in rosy pink. And on my lips is the NYX Creamy Matte Lipstick in Milan. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I will list everything for you in the description as well. So thanks so much for watching today. I'll speak to you again soon.